Valve's alleged next game, Deadlock, looks like it has suffered a gameplay leak. This month, Valve reporter Tyler McVicker published a video to YouTube in which he claimed Deadlock is currently in closed alpha, with an announcement imminent. Competitive gaming YouTubers were said to be already playing under a non-disclosure agreement that, clearly, has not held up. Screenshots and details hit the internet, describing Deadlock as a third-person hero-based MOBA shooter with 6v6 battles on big maps with four lanes. There are abilities and items alongside tower defense mechanics as part of a setting described as fantasy steampunk. Now, a snippet of gameplay has leaked online, published to Twitter by the app PlayerIGN account. It shows Deadlock in action, with traversal via a Bioshock Infinite-style handrail system. There's also a brief look at the character select screen, showing off the various heroes and their abilities. According to Insider Gaming, Deadlock gameplay is mechanically similar to Valve's MOBA, Dota 2, and involves killing creeps to obtain a currency spent on buying items that make the hero characters more powerful. There's a larger AI boss in the middle of the map, the site claimed. Valve has yet to comment on the Deadlock leaks, but it looks very much like the company behind Dota 2, Counter-Strike 2, Left 4 Dead 2, and Team Fortress 2 is ready to reveal yet another game that does not have the number 3 in its title. Valve's last developed game to release was competitive first-person shooter Counter-Strike 2, which effectively replaced Counter-Strike. Global Offensive Before that, in 2020, Valve released Half-Life, Alex exclusively for virtual reality headsets. Valve has also released a Dota-themed digital card game called Artifact and a Dota auto chess game called Dota Underlords, although both failed to find as big of an audience as the company's previous titles. All the while, the wait for Half-Life 3 continues. Back in 2020, a making of for Half-Life, Alex revealed a swathe of games developed and shelved by Valve between the release of Half-Life 2, Episode 2, and Valve's latest VR game. That list included details on a version of Half-Life 3 that was in development for around a year, and an open world left 4 Dead 3. There are allegedly 19 heroes and mechanics expected from the mix of Dota 2, Team Fortress 2, Overwatch, and Valorant. The gaming world has been shaken by the news of Valve's new game Deadlock, which is described as a competitive third-person 6 vs 6 hero-based shooter combination of Dota 2, Team Fortress 2, Overwatch, Valorant, Smite, and Orcs Must Die. From a few screenshots shared online, we could see a steampunk city setting and a glimpse of several characters. Today, we can find out a little more about them thanks to a gameplay video posted on Reddit. You can see the training area of the game where you can practice your main abilities. The creator of the video showed the starting area as well as a bunch of colorful heroes and their descriptions. Some attentive Redditors noticed a familiar name in the footage and now have an idea of who could have leaked it. Insider Gaming offered more information about the game. It is an early development build with lots of experimental gameplay features and art assets at the moment with 19 heroes, including magicians, robots, creatures, and humans who have different abilities and playstyles for healers, tanks, assassins, and ranged characters. Those who have played Deadlock describe it as similar to Dota. You need to kill enemies and creeps to get souls, the in-game currency, so you can buy upgrades. You collect the most souls by shooting at them. Souls that float away still provide a small amount of souls currency. As for the creeps, they are spawned randomly throughout the map, including a larger AI boss in the middle of the map. Some players also outlined that there is also spirit urns, which players can deposit in the middle of the map to give the whole team more souls. The spirit urn carrier is visible to all players on the mini-map. Earlier, content creator Tyler McVicker said that there are hundreds of people playtesting the game now, including Valve's employees and some YouTubers. It is not clear when the game will be out, although Insider Gaming assumed we might see it next year.